Hi. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can use a graphics tablet like an iPad and run Writeboot on it. Now, what you need for this is a product called Space Desk. And here we have the website, the Space Desk website. What you need to do is to get hold of the display driver for Windows. That's here. Now I've installed the Windows 10 Space Desk driver software. So I've previously installed that. I'm going to run it. That's Space Desk. And it's the Space Desk driver console. So let's run that. There we go. Now you also need to install Space Desk on your tablet. Now I've previously done that, and there it is, and I got that from the Apple App Store. Now if you're running Android, you can get it off their store. Or if you're running a Surface tablet, you can get it off the Windows Store. So I'm going to run Space Desk on the tablet. I'm going to accept that. Now, as you can see, Space Desk on the tablet has found my laptop. Now the reason for that is that both my laptop and my tablet are both connected to my home router. Uh, my laptop is connected via Ethernet and my tablet is connected wirelessly. So both your PC and your tablet have to be connected together onto the same network. So once you have that, Space Desk automatically detects the driver console across your network. So I'm going to start the app now on the tablet. Wow. So what we've got now is that Space Desk has automatically duplicated the desktop of my laptop on the iPad screen. And the lag is pretty minimal there. And if you realize what's happening, it's actually sending updates across the network onto the iPad tablet screen. There's very little lag there, which is pretty good. Now, what I want to do is I want to extend my laptop desktop so that it appears on the tablet. So let's do that. I can minimize Space Desk. I don't need that now. Let's come out of the browser. I'm going to right click on the desktop choose display settings and as you can see windows knows there are two monitors attached if i scroll down you can see that the multiple display section is set to duplicate so what i'm going to do is just extend now watch what happens i'll pull back here i'm going to extend the displays keep the changes Okay, let's drag this across. Watch what happens. That is incredible. So effectively, my iPad is acting as a wireless extended monitor to my laptop. And that is really impressive. Let me just drag this back again. I have to keep it running, so I'm going to minimize it. Okay, so I'm going to run Right Booth now. So let's double click the app. This is the first instance of Right Booth and it's running on the main computer screen. But I'm going to run it again. It's asking me whether I want to run a second copy. Yes, I will. Now, you can see that the second instance has got a number two next to it. And I've actually chosen to run a sharing station in the second instance. Now, if I look at the design properties, go into event structure, multiple monitors, and look at where the screens are going to appear, they're going to appear on the second monitor. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to play this second instance and watch what happens. And there you go, 
right booth is running on the second instance. It's running a sharing station on the second instance and it's fully interactive. And now I can run right booth on the first screen to play the recording event. So there's the recording event, and here is the sharing station running on the second instance. Now I'm going to move this away. So this is going to work regardless of where I put it, so I'm going to put it over here. And remember, this can be any tablet. It can be um, a Windows Surface tablet, it can be a large Android tablet, or a larger iPad. So basically, any Apple iPad or Android tablet or Microsoft tablet will work. So again, I'm working the system here. Meanwhile, over here, the right booth recording event is happening. Now I think that's incredible. So running right booth on a tablet using Space Desk. So check it out.